just arrived here at Sky Zone. Uh, as you can see, we just rode over in a limo. One of the goals in a limo is to try to, it's, it's almost like a closed laboratory where we can really work with the kids to increase those social interactions. At a place like Sky Zone, the kids are bouncing around, so it's a little more difficult to work on some of those social skills. However, in a limo, we have a confined space. We have our kids, we have our uh, trained CAs, so it gives us a little better of an opportunity to work on those social skills with our learners. So for example, today what we did was we played a game of Uno. So we had a verbal and a nonverbal learner. So what we did was we tried to use nonverbal cues with that non-vocal learner in order to point over to let the uh, other learners know it's their next turn, try to incorporate them in handing and passing off the cards. Uh, Passing the card. Thank you. And with our vocal learners, we just try to increase their spontaneous communication and uh, get them to interact even with our non-vocal learners also. Mm -hmm. Good job, Samira. Nice. This way. Piss in the John. Can you hand this to Miss Dana? Da no, my card. Da Thank you to Miss Dana. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Samira. Da Do we have eight or yellow? Cyril Thank trying you. to make moves. <laughs> trying to make moves. What was the skip sign? No. How do we sign oh, for skip? Do you remember? We just said no. no. Nice, but I'm not using that because I no. have it. And I'm going red. I don't need that. I just want you to know. I want to Samira, you know. you're ready to go? Okay. Oh, okay. She was ready. Oh, Uno. So Cyril. Cyril's on Uno? Ultimately. The goal is to get the peers to interact. We want peer interaction amongst each other, but initially it's okay for our staff to kind of prompt them and get them to that space, and then ultimately um, we will see an increase in those spontaneous peer-to-peer -peer social interactions. Okay, well, high five. Beep, beep. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> The two learners that we have uh, in the limo have been clients of BDA for a while and have participated in our community-based learning programs uh, for a while. They go to Sky Zone. They also go to uh, some of our other activities as well. Um, Cyril was the gentleman that was sitting in the back who shared that great rap with us. I don't know if you get a chance to see that, but it was uh, fantastic. And he even gave us a rap in British, which was even more spectacular. It's shot down, fashion week, and it's shot down. And it's shot down, fashion week, and it's shot down. Cyril has come a long way. This is a learner who, when we first started working with him, was completely nonverbal. This was a learner who would not exit his bed in order for us to do anything with him. So, um, and this was about maybe two years ago. So you can see how far he's come. This learner, again, would not leave his bed in order for us to do any type of therapy with him. Initially, we were just trying to get some type of stimulus control, just trying to have him sit up in the bed. That was the goal. The clinician would come, positively pair, and just get this young man to just try to sit up in the bed. So for every name that you can tell me of a kid present at Sky Zone, when we sit down, okay, we're gonna say, give me some names. Every name, that's how many pieces of pizza you start off with. Okay, God. so if Edwin's there, you say, uh, I don't know if Edwin's going to be there today, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. But if you tell me Gilmer, uh, Isabella, Parker, mm -hmm. you know, whoever God. you go around and meet, I want you to take mm -hmm. some time and meet these people, mm -hmm. get the kids' names, and remember God. them because every name mm -hmm. is a slice. Mm -hmm. Here we are two and a half years later, and this young man is riding in the back of a limousine, singing songs, rapping, and communicating with hey. others. B. Hey, it's her <laughs> apple. Mm. What's next? What? B. B. It's for ball. Great. Where's S for Samira? S. Good job. Um. Samira was the young lady who was also in a limo with us this evening. Uh, she is uh, non-vocal, but she's come a long way also. We've been working with her for two years. Uh, she used to have a lot of accidents in the community. So what we did was we worked on uh, functional communication training in order to man to use the bathroom. So she will communicate with us now for her to use the bathroom, which has increased her um, provided her additional opportunities to go out into the community. Initially, when we first started working out with, with her in the community, we really only take her out 
four, maybe one, we'd only try maybe once a week and then four shorter periods of time, but now she goes out into the community frequently because um, we have been able to decrease that challenging behavior. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? Yeah. Samira, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Do you have red or a seven? Red. Thank you. Can you point to Cyril and let him know it's his turn? Cyril. Okay, she made a red or a one. Got a red one. Oh! Did you see that? Reverse. Yeah! Yes. He's done. Hold on, it's Hyrule. Let's get it all get in together this way. You can get in first. You can climb to the back side. <laughs> Have a good night, Lisa. Drive safe. <laughs>